Live from Orlando, Florida, extracting the signal from the noise, it's theCUBE, covering Enterprise Connect 2016. Brought to you by Oracle ZDLRA, Vonage, and Cafe X. Now your hosts, John Furrier and Peter Zontazanio. Okay, welcome back everyone to a special presentation of theCUBE at Enterprise Connect 2016. First, a shout out to our sponsors. We would not be here for our sponsors. Oracle, ZDLRA, the Zero Data Loss Appliance from Oracle, and we have Cafe X and Vonage. Thanks for the support. Go, go buy their stuff, they're awesome. Oracle, Cafe X, Vonage, thanks for the support. We are here on the ground with theCUBE. I'm John Furrier, and Rim Westman, President and CEO of Video. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you very much for having me. So the, the video is the hottest thing that's been around. Obviously, you can, you, in the consumer space, you're seeing Snapchat, you're seeing all these things. You're on every device, every phone. Mobile is the key thing. But video conferencing has been one of those things that's been around. It's been like, uh, you know, Cisco's been out there with telepresence, and a lot of people complain about it being too high end, and good for boardrooms, I guess, but like to really get down to the consumerization, a new video model's emerging. So I want to get your thoughts on that. Is this space of unified communications going to bring that consumer ease of use to video. So I think you are spot on because what is actually happening is people that are saying that I can be at home, I can do FaceTime, I can do all these consuming uh, consumer devices and using video, why can't I do it at work? And as you said, you have all this big telepresent thing that I have in the boardroom, but then it costs quarter of a million of dollars. What do I do with this? How do I take it to my day to day? So I think that now it's happening. So as you said, it's happening now in the UC world and it's happening also in other worlds. Today only we announced that the NCR has chosen video to provide their ATM uh, integrated teller machine with the video because that's the way that they want to uh, serve banks, want to serve their customers. There are so many other applications that are coming when people want to be video enabled. So video with a Y, our company is enabling a lot of solutions, some of them within the UC, some of them outside of the UC world. So video is one of those things where there's been a couple of inhibitors. One, bandwidth, broadband, whether it's fixed wireless or you know, spectrum wireless or direct ethernet connectivity, and cost for the devices. Give us an update on those fronts. Our, obviously costs are lowing down, Moore's Law and whatnot, but what's that dynamic today? So what is very interesting and always was the big limitation was the issue of the bandwidth. So today when we are in the offices and we're even at home, we have good bandwidth. The problem is whether you go outside, whether it's on Wi-Fi, on cellular network, and this is where really video is shining because this is with our special technology, we are able to deal with this fluctuating of uh, bandwidth up and down and how to bring the best uh, quality to the people also on the mobile and the wireless networks. So you have secret sauce. We have a secret sauce. We have more than 115 patents around this secret sauce, what we call video router, and this secret sauce is working very well. And this helps the edge device, if you will, whether it's a teller, phone, or Internet of Things surveillance. I mean, I can imagine a zillion scenarios. Exactly, so it's going, it can support any device that you can do, so we are the enabler. We are not those that will invite the new phone, the new car, the new drone, the new ATM, but we enable those that want to uh, add visual communication or visual collaboration to those tools to use, uh, to have it to their customers. Talk about who you're disrupting right now. Obviously, I can imagine some of the big guys like, say, Cisco and others. Who are the big players out there that you're winning against, and are you winning, and how big are you winning? Give me examples of some wins. So we, uh, competing against some of the companies that you mentioned earlier, some of the traditional players, some of the very big players. We announced some big wins on the, only in the last uh, few weeks, few months. We announced uh, Bloomberg, as you uh, met them, I think, a couple of days ago. Bloomberg is a big uh, user of video. They replaced one of the traditional uh, providers from before and uh, roll it out across all their organization. We announced a couple of weeks ago also that uh, Xiaomi, the third biggest phone manufacturer in the world, the mobile uh, manufacturer in the world, had chosen video when they wanted to add a multi-party face FaceTime solution like Apple, but just higher quality, high resolution, and uh, multi-party. So we are playing in different grounds, and in different uh, different ground we play, we compete with different companies. But when people really want high quality, they go to video. So I got to ask you a question because most consumers like us who don't have a big budget, we're not going to break the bank, we don't got deep pockets, are looking for a high quality solution. Whether it's us doing our cube media from inter offices, but the average consumer can relate to two use cases: a Skype video call and Google Hangouts. Great concept, my friends are there, I could maybe do a FaceTime, but the quality sucks. It's really bad. I mean, and it's like it's statically and it jumps around. I mean, that is just really, really poor quality for a seamless experience. Are you guys solving that problem in terms of tech and do you see that going down to the consumer? So I think this is exactly where we are dealing with. So, but not everybody wants to pay for it. And uh, when we have uh, some of my sales organization come and say people are not willing to pay for it or people are good enough with Skype, I say if it's good enough for them, if it's free, 
it's good, it's good for them. We focus on companies on verticals that quality matters. Therefore, healthcare, financial services, federal, Department of Defense, our main focus, because those are people that can't afford that it will not work and it will not work in the highest quality. When you are get, getting consultation from your doctor, you don't want the call to be uh, disconnected before he told you what you have. <laughs> I amputated your ear off. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, the bad video. No, but this is a good point. Free is good. If it's good enough, no big deal. So I got to ask you, are people breaking, breaking, the, breaking the bank with the solution? What's the price points? Can you give some order of magnitude levels of cost to get in and get that high quality? So first, uh, price is very difficult, it depends for what, but video is a software-only company, uh, always was disruptive, the, 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 the prices in the market since uh, our inception 10 years ago and so today. So we are trying to build a, a scale, the right price, and the right solution for our customers. Well, I think you might have a good prospect in the queue. We don't deep pockets, maybe we can do a little trade, barter. We need better video. If you're watching out there, guys, we'll get the video for you. Uh, but, that, but this is where the market's going. People want that table stakes. Our price is going to come down. Do you see your prices coming down, dropping, line extensions, product features? Can you share some roadmap? I think that there were uh, some other items in the market, like rooms, video, for, as you say, in the room uh, service that prices went significantly down. But when you look at the complete solution, I think that people uh, get what they pay for. So we are, we are focusing on people that uh, quality matters for them. So we try to put the solution that the comprehensive solution will be the right for them. Either they want to use it on their own uh, cloud or on their own perpetual on on premises, or they want to go with our own cloud. Who's the ideal target customer for you guys? Who's the buyer for you? What's the, what's the persona look like? Who's the ideal for your solution, Video today? So the ideal persona is that somebody who is delivering the service. So of course IT is very important, they are building the security and everything, but those that are really getting what video can have to offer are the business people, the, the medical people. So in healthcare, we have the chief medical officer are very important to us. In the banks, the chief digital officer or the head of digital banking, these kind of people that are looking at the multi-channels are very important for our solutions. So it's basically where business, their business model depends upon it. That's where you guys exactly. get involved. Okay, so it's V-I-D-Y-O, video, and it's video.com. Inran, thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it, good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching, we are on the ground here at Enterprise Connect. Thanks for watching.